All right, everybody. Well, we got everything bailed up over there. And uh, I think we'll check the oats again and see if that little bit of time has given them a chance to dry out. Uh, welcome back, by the way. I had a good little lunch, charged this uh, recording device back up. Yep, I think we're good. We're going to give it a try anyway. Let's see what we come up with. It's always fun trying to fit through these gates, let me tell you. We can do it. We just have to be careful and uh, kind of slow going through. Just like this. Okay, let's call that good. Leave that running. Yep, we got enough room to come in and uh, get the combine in. So let's do that. Alrighty. We should be able to clear if we turn in right there. Perfect. If we had any wider of a combine, we'd be in trouble. Okay. And once again, yeah, we're kind of running over the crop, but we really, this place doesn't have many options for against it, you know, unless I cut out a whole bunch more hedge. And well, between the trees and the hedge, I've already uh, cut out. I don't want to do any more. Whoops. Nope. Nope. I need you to stay on there. Okay. That ought to do that one. Yep. Just all part of the fun. Yeah, if we had a little wider gate that we could um, get through, but it would just, we don't. We just kind of got to deal with what we've got. I suppose we could put wider gates in. I don't know how effective they would be, but we could try. We might look into that into the future. You know, see if we can uh, take these older gates down and put in some nice wide double gates that we can get the combine through on our property. Okay, we're going to leave this here. Alrighty. And we'll get into... Oh, get that closed back up. We'll get in here and we'll get to uh, cutting this patch. There we go. Oh yeah, they're ready. They're coming through perfectly. So they were ready to be harvested. I waited long enough. I was actually kind of afraid I hadn't waited long enough, but yeah, they're they're coming in real nice. Yep, they're pouring in. Well, we'll see what kind of yield we get from this field. Uh, again, I'm hoping for obviously the best yield I can get. Um, but it is going to be wh whatever it is. This must be a pretty good combine. It didn't even struggle on that hill, which is what I was really looking for. I wanted a tough combine to climb hills. And I told him that I had hilly ground. Not as hilly as some of it, but he said, well, he had the perfect thing. And yep, I think he did. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but... Uh, Man, we had a stellar, absolutely stellar hay product or a, a straw production off of the canola. That was a lot of hay. I was I, were, I was really surprised by it, to be honest. Okay. I think we can take this corner. Okay. Yeah, we got it. We got it under control. Not to worry. 
Alrighty. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this, and I'll see you all in a few minutes. All right, everybody. Well, we got our first trailer full and a combine full. Man, this is uh, this field's turning out pretty good. We seem to be um, producing fairly well. Uh, yield seems to be up, and uh, I think our round bales are going to go for a little bit of a run here, but. Uh, by the look of the straw, I'd say we're going to have a, uh, a decent amount of bales off of that one, too. You know, we're going to have to pay attention to market prices when it comes to these bales because, you know, we're going to have to sell them. But I am amazed at how many bales we are producing. Now, granted, we'll, we'll keep a few of them for our cattle, but we've still got some of the ones for the cattle that we bought already. And, uh, yeah, I'm surprised by that. I didn't think we'd still have them. But the cattle seem to not be going through the straw near as quick. Um, and food in general for our animals doesn't seem to dwindle down very quickly. Um... Like I said, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, I, I definitely want to expand a little bit more. I think we can handle it. Um, it might take us a bit, but I think we can handle it. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. But harvest in general, couldn't have picked a better day. We had a little bit of cloud this morning, but the barley was ready. We could just get right to it. Um, the sunshine this afternoon has just made it even better. You know, uh, that that's really what made our harvest. Um... I hope we have many more like it to come. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay. Let's get back in here, fire this up, and uh, get right to it here. Yeah, it doesn't take very long. Um, as you can see, we've really trimmed the field down. I imagine one maybe two more combines worth um, 
two might be a stretch, but I, I think we're going to turn out really well on this property. Uh, our yield monitor is saying that we are yielding right where we want to be, right uh, just at 100%. So, all good things. All good things. We're just going to run up this side this time and uh, get this harvest finished up here because uh, we, we really need it to finish up as quickly as possible for obvious reasons. I, I don't want to leave this for another day. Um, I think we will have about a month, roughly, to get all of the fields worked, the bales taken care of, see if we can sell any of this grain right away. We're going to have to to get our money up. But then again, we might have something else that we can sell and, you know, versus that, I don't know yet. We'll just have to wait and see. But whatever we do, we're going to get as much as we can, as quick as we can, to try to like I said, expand and uh, keep us going. But I'll go ahead and finish this, and I'll be back with you when we're all said and done. Well, there we go. All of the oats have been uh, brought in. I, uh, I was way off on the amount that we would have left. I, I, I didn't realize it would be that little. But let's go ahead and disconnect this here in the field. I think it should be okay. There we go. And let's go get the header cart and get this header put away. Um... I think we'll clean up our harvest equipment right off the bat, get it put away somewhere safe and secure. And then we can come back and do a little bailing and a few other things. This seems kind of repetitive right now, you know, but that's just how farming is. Uh, we'll, we'll find some other things to do. We're going to have uh, some expense coming up because we're going to have to rent a uh, potato harvester. Uh, you know, we don't have to get a huge potato harvester. Because it's, well, frankly, we don't have that big of an area that we need to... Uh, you know, put the potatoes through at. But we, we will have to have some that can uh, properly cut them. There we go. Okay, we'll go ahead and close this up. And let's take it back real quick and uh, get it put away. Uh, I don't think we need to do any major services to it in the near... Oh hung up on that darn fin, uh, post. Gotta hug this post and start turning slow. There we go. Yeah, now we won't hit that other post. Boy, that's tight quartered. Easier going in than coming out of there, though. I, I definitely can say that. It's a pretty quick little combine, let me tell you. I was uh, expecting it to be a lot slower than it is. But that's okay. I'm not complaining. Okay. So, this is going to be the tricky part. We've got to turn back in here. And then, turn back in here. Get 
are sucked right back here into the corner. Nice and neat. Ooh, that's going to be tight, but it will work. There we go. Yeah, that worked out just fine. Now all we got to do is just uh, hop, skip, and a jump back over there. We'll get the header put away, come back. We'll get that trailer, get that put away. Uh, we're going to have to rent a plow for here and plow all this up to add it to this field. And uh, I'm sure there will be an, you know, other costs, but we're going to have to do that, obviously, after the fact. Okay, here we go. Because we've got some other things that are a little bit more pressing at the moment. Uh, like getting crops sold so we have a little cash in our pockets. You know, that that's <laughs> obviously important. And I'm sure with the amount of bales that we're going to have, we should be able to bring in a more than fair amount of money for the bales. I, uh, we got so many of them that I just can't see us not having um, a decent profit. Of course, that depends whether hay bales are you know, in season right now. What we might do is take some of those square bales and get rid of them. You know, we bought them from an outside source. I'd rather keep our own bales and, uh, you know, just sell those back. Might, might even make a little money on them. I don't know. Let's see if we can get this tucked over here against the tractor. I need to lean up a little bit. Nope, that don't help. There we go. Now I can see. A little more. Oh, I think that's it. There we go. I think that'll do it. All right. Let's have a look at our handiwork. Oh, I could come back a little bit more. Let's let's back back up into that and uh, go a little further back up to the wall. Close as we can get it. There, right there. Perfect. Okay. Boy, it's been a long day already. I'll tell you, this has actually been a rather long day for me. And uh, it's it's not over yet. We've still got quite a bit to do. Oop, that, uh, that might be starting to sink. I'd better hurry. Better hurry and get hooked back up here. There we go. Get everything back on. Parking brake off. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this Dooley trailer has uh, it's worked out for us pretty darn good. Been a good little trailer so far. I'm uh, I'm impressed by it. I uh, I'd like to have a truck, but um, as good as this trailer works, I really don't need a truck. You know. There we go. Get this dumped in here. And then it can actually just back up, and that is actually its home. We can disconnect it and it just sit there. Yeah, the old Massey, she's doing a good job here at the moment. I'm, uh, I'm impressed with how well it's been working. Undercover. 
That ought to do it. He'll be ready when we do finally take things to town. Okay, there we go. Well, I think we can put this away for now. And uh, we'll go back and do a little bit more baling. Because we do have the time. And I'd like to get it done before it gets uh, too dark. And the straw is nice and dry. If we have to wait till morning, then the straw will get wet. So I'll go ahead and time lapse that. And I'll see you in a little bit. Well, we're just getting a few of the dregs here that were left over. And uh, I don't believe we'll get a full another bale. But once again, I am surprised by the straw production. It, this is fairly significant. A decent amount of straw. Uh, definitely more than I was expecting. But uh, we'll have a large quantity of bales. Um, according to this, we've made 77 bales with this. Now, that's including our, you know, other silage bales and stuff, too. But that's still impressive. That's, uh, that's quite a few bales. But uh, the sun is starting to set. And uh, things are getting a little dark. And I believe that is going to do it for today. We'll get everything kind of packed up. But I appreciate everybody. I appreciate you for watching, for being here. And uh, we'll see you maybe in the next one if I don't crash the Kubota here. And I turn the wheel the right way. Because we got to have that Kubota out of the way for the mower. You know what? I got a better idea. The Kubota can just start sitting in here. It's a protected shed. Well, good lord. Little short wheelbase thing here. Don't like that. There we go. Get it right up here by the wall. Not on the wall. By the wall. That's what I said. Anyway, before I carry on any further and end up wrecking this thing even worse. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.